Hey guys, it's your best five friends. Wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> Is there anything in my teeth? No. Like greens? <laughs> no. I brushed okay. my teeth like. Mm. Hey guys, it's your best five friends. I'm Kelsey. That's Rachel. Rachel, we're here to talk about Jaime Munguia fighting Gabriel Rosado over the weekend. I love your pronunciation of his name. Jaime it is Munguia? Correct. Yeah. Well, I always want to say Munguia, but it's not Munguia, it's Munguia. And yeah, Jaime uh, defeated uh, Gabriel Rosado. I don't know why, but I. I love Gabriel Rosado. Because he is I love a him. great fighter. He's a great boxer. He's not an all-time great fighter, but he is an all-time great fighter. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's I just a, love him. You put yeah. him in, in a fight, I'm like, oh, I, I think I want to watch Heck this. Heck yeah. Like, uh, Skilled, yeah. like a guy who really, just a tough veteran who knows how to fight. Quick oh, tangent. I remember when he fought Brian Vera yeah. in a boxing match, but it was in a an alternative a style pit. of ring that was like a pit with no ropes. And so there was like a, a edge to the ring and you couldn't fall out of that. Like it was, that's not allowed. I don't know. There yeah. was a knockdown or a knockout. It was something like that. And the, it was marketed that this was going to be like vicious, bloody kind bare of fighting. Knuckle. It was marketed as bare knuckle, remember? But yeah, like yeah. really they had gloves on. They and had, had the smaller like version like, of gloves. Windows over there. It was weird. <laughs> But here's the thing, guys. Because of no ropes and because of that edge they couldn't fall out of, it reinforced both fighters to have tremendous footwork, it was which legit gave us in there. more skilled <laughs> yeah. boxing than something that was like a brawl. Yeah, so this it was, was like a real boxing match. Opposite of what they marketed and intended. Man, and Gabe Rosado won that because he is a very skilled boxer. Yeah, so we saw him against Jaime and. It was a fun fight. Jaime won. Now, Jaime versus Golovkin. What do you think? Yeah, so I think that he's ready. I think Jaime Munguia, look, Rachel, Jaime Munguia is 25 years old, which means that he's not the best fighter he'll be yet. But what else do you do with him at this point? He was a 154-pound title holder, grew out of that weight class without really challenging the other top fighters there. Now he's at 160. He just beat Gabriel Rosado, a 35-year-old veteran guy who, if Jaime Munguia isn't legit, now I keep thinking about how I'm pronouncing it, because <laughs> you said that. It, but listen, if he's not legit, then Rosado's the kind of guy that, oh, by the way, would get rid of Jaime Munguia for oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he proves he's a lit. What do you do with him? I think you go up even higher in class, sure, but also in age, 39-year-old <laughs> Ganeni Golovkin. I want to see that fight. I think that's an interesting fight. And honestly, that seems to me like the right fight at the right time. I know Golovkin has a fight coming up. But listen, I want to see Mungia fight somebody. I, I get it that he's maybe he's not going to jump in with the guys that are in their primes right now. You definitely don't want to put him in there with Canelo anytime <laughs> soon. Golden boy, don't do that. If you could, don't. But Golovkin, 39 years old, older guy, but with power. Good well, you're in agreement with somebody on the DAZN uh, commentating team. I forget who it was. It's got to be my guy, Chris Mannix. I th it probably right? was. That he, no, thought, Chris Mannix. he thought before, no, no, I mean, he's not ready for Golovkin. But now he thinks that he is. So here's what I'm going to give you All as right. a fan. Give it to us. Yeah, I totally want to see this. You see the way Jaime fights? Like, yeah, I want to see him with Golovkin. This is going to be a lot of fun. My prediction? Oh, my gosh. Jaime got hit so much by Gabriel Rosado, he's going to get knocked the F out by Golovkin. That what? is my <laughs> That's your prediction? prediction. Unless he's, like, you know, got a Homer Simpson quality that he just ain't going to go down, which he did get hit a lot by Gabriel Rosado. But, but I don't think Gabriel has the same kind of power that even a power puncher does, I'll not to mention what, Golovkin. Why it's an intriguing fight. Jaime has one of the highest motors, if not the highest motor, in the division. He's a guy who throws an incredible amount of volume that, sure, he doesn't have the same one-punch dynamic power Golovkin does, but he hits hard enough to where you have to do something about it. And that, his youth, his vigor, his... He kind of fights like his uh, trainer, new trainer Eric now, Morales. Aaron Rousey. Reminds me of that, the way he just goes to war like that. Yeah, does it make, will it make for some danger for him? Yes, yeah, but yeah. it'll be compelling. And I don't know, Make Golovkin's 39. He's not getting any younger, Rachel. This isn't the Golovkin from half a decade ago. 
that was looked no. unstoppable. This is a different guy. I, I'm interested. I think that's a compelling fight. Yeah, I agree. I'm excited. I say take this. You know, prove me wrong. Prove my prediction wrong and be, like, great and amazing. I think Canelo is an example of a fighter who's taken tough fights throughout his career, took an early tough fight against Floyd Mayweather and lost. So it's okay to to lose, but go out there and, like, be a boxer. So I, I love it. I definitely want to see it. How do we end this? Well, you know... <laughs> You know how else we end this? <laughs> That's what. <laughs> yeah. This is a transition. I'm going to use the end. Hey, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, best fight friends. <laughs>